welcome guys uh welcome to my youtube video so uh in this video uh, let's prove this uh two common uh triangular uh trigonometric uh identities if you are in the high school or the, uh, or the graduate school or something like that. you may uh uh you may encounter with these two uh questions okay so these two questions is common because uh one can uh, view this as a so-called uh, maybe the arithmetic progression of the trigonometric inequality uh identities okay so before i start i hope you guys subscribe to my channel so uh, well, we will prove uh, two of them the first two is a uh, half plus cosine 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 up to cosine n and i'll prove it and uh, the second is that uh, if you have sine x sine 2x uh sine n x then keep going and uh, you will get this okay so uh let's say we prove the uh Let's say we prove the first one. Okay, so remember that uh, we have two, two, uh, some tools uh, we can use. Let's say we prove the the, the first one. So we, uh, right, in order to prove it, uh, we just uh, times two sine x divided by two to the left hand side. So let's say uh, we times. Let's say we focus on this term. So we just times we just times two sine x divided by 2 to all the term okay and uh, we can and uh, we uh, we fix this term and uh, for a second term uh, we use the triangulometric in, uh, identity let's say uh, we have cosine a cosine uh, sine b should equals to let's say uh, let's say I write yes sine b cosine a so this is a uh, sine b plus a plus sine uh, b minus a times a half okay so this is a uh, one expression okay so let's see so but since we have two here right so we don't need two so we just need cos uh, sine x plus two plus x plus sine x divided by two minus x plus sine this is two right so two plus so it's x divided by 2 plus 2x plus sine x divided by 2 minus 2x. And I keep going sine x divided by 2 plus 3x plus sine x divided by 2 minus 3x. And the final term is uh, sine uh, x divided, uh, divided by uh, x divided by 2 plus nx plus sine uh, x divided by 2 minus nx. Okay, and remember that uh, sine is what? Sine is... Uh, Remember what sine is a odd function, right? So sine x equals minus sine x. So this is a uh, minus three divided by two. This is the also minus three divided by two. Uh, this three divided by two. This is minus three. These two turn cancel. Okay, and then these two turns, these two turn cancel, right? <clears throat> so you so you will see that each turn, oh, each, each minus term, right, always cancel. So finally. Each minus term also always cancel. The remaining the remaining term will be least term. Okay, so finally you get the sine x divided by two plus n x. Okay, uh, you can you 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 get easy if you need to more uh ver uh confirm by confirm more then you can write more term. But it's fine that we finally uh, prove the uh, identity right because uh we already we proved that uh, sine x divided by two. Of what uh, we want, a uh, half cosine x plus cosine two x up to cosine n x is equal to this, right? So we can just divide this, so we, we get a half cosine x plus cosine two x. Cosine n x will be uh, sine x divided by two plus n x divided by sine x divided by two. Okay, so this is the first result. Now let's see, uh, let's see this. Let, let's see the second term. The second proof. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the second proof is that uh, we we need to sine x sine two uh, x up to sine n x. Okay. So the idea is that it's still the same. We times uh, two sine x divided by two. So we get the uh, two sine x divided by two sine x. Two sine x divided by two sine two x. <coughs> up to two sine x divided by two sine n x. 
and we use the uh, formula that's maybe uh, sine A sine sine B, right? So sine A times sine B can be viewed as, uh, I think it's a cosine A plus B X minus, uh, so it's cosine, co, cosine, cosine minus uh, sine sine, right? So uh, we should minus uh, cosine uh, A minus B X, right? So, the, so this will give you uh, this will give you plus sine uh, minus two sine sine turn right so you should you should take a half okay so uh this turn the first is this uh, for this turn is uh since we have two right so we only need a negative sign so let's maybe write as cosine a minus b x minus cosine a plus b x right so this term uh where is uh, what the hell is x Sorry, uh, let's say cosine A, cosine B. So what we prove, uh, cosine, what we prove is that sine A, sine B will just be cosine 2 A minus B minus cosine A plus B. Okay, so this is the formula we gonna use. Okay, so the this term become a uh, cosine A is uh, X divided by 2, B is X. So it become negative X divided by 2 minus cosine uh, left sum plus uh, cosine uh, layer difference so this uh, minus cosine layer sum keep going so final term is a uh, cosine layer difference minus cosine layer sum so okay okay so if you see carefully you see that this term right this term cancel right so the cross term cancel 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 so finally uh, so you see the sorry uh this turns may uh so you see this minus turn will cancel with the 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 plus turn in the next turn right so this turn will cancel with this okay so finally this turn will cancel right so because the this turn should cancel with the next turn right because but this is the last turn okay so final result become cosine minus x divided by 2 minus cosine x divided by 2 plus n x. And the cosine is an even function, so you, I can change this into plus. So finally I get cosine x minus cosine x divided by 2 plus n x. And then remember I times 2 sine x, right? So I just divided this, so I get this. Okay, so that's the proof. Uh, see you guys. Okay, hopefully you guys like it. And uh, click the like button and uh, see you guys in next videos.